Morton Anderson to kick off. Here's the former Saint and Viking Morton Anderson to get this one started. And here we go. We're underway in Madden Ultimate Team. And they will elect to not bring this one out as our first drive will begin at the 25. On first and 10, it's Moreno. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. It'll go as a gain of 25 on a play that started back at the 25. First and 10 at the 50-yard line. From midfield now, Marino. Oh, and this ball's tipped and intercepted. Steve Atwater with a pick. Now the return here is stopped at the 35-yard line. That right there is the inauspicious start that they were hoping to avoid the turnover on the first possession. I love how you use those college-bound words like that, inauspicious. Well done. I really appreciate that. Thank you. But here's the thing for me. I'm just wondering if their game plan is incorrect. You know, I think they felt like they could come in and throw it around pretty well. That interception early, they may rethink how they go about attacking. First down yardage on the first play of the drive. Give him 14. That is definitely what we call on defense an uh-oh play. And what you mean by that is against Lamar Jackson. When you see him out of the pocket, your first thought is, uh-oh, he's going to try and run it. How do I get to him and get him on the ground? And guess what? That didn't happen, and his receivers took advantage. The ball carried A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. Jeremy Chin. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. And they're going to get him. He's taken down for a sack back at the 47-yard line. Ricky Jackson credit him with a sack as he buries him for a loss of 10. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield complete. And he's going to come up a few yards short. Brought down at the 45. That'll bring up fourth down. They wind up getting eight yards, but they needed more than that. And they hit him as he throws, as this one's going to go straight down to the turf. Incomplete. The Giants go on fourth, but come up empty. And the Panthers will get the football back. I'm down. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. Well, they were intercepted the first time they had the football, but now they get it back, and it's still 0-0. And because of that, you know what the thought process is? Interception. What interception? It didn't really happen because they gave up no points. So go back on the attack. Go back and run the offense you believe will be successful. Find your playmakers and give them the football. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Shotgun snap, and then the give to Sanders. And he's going to get this past the 50 and into Giant territory. Decided to hand it off that time on the run pass option. Appeared to be an easy decision. Just gave it inside. Nice steady gain. And five in the secondary now for the Giants on third down. On third down, they'll run it with Sanders. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. First and 10 at the 44-yard line. First down, Marino. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked up by Denzel Ward. And to the 40-yard line, that's where the return stops. They'll take over first and 10. At their the Giants' offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And this offense last time turned it over, went for it on fourth, didn't get it. They're lucky, though, because no points against the team on the board, but we'll see how they respond. Yeah, they've got to give a lot of credit to their defensive teammates, don't they? They had their backs on that last series, and because they did so, 
that allows the coach to still stay aggressive on offense and maybe go for it again in a similar situation. I was going to say, maybe makes that offense feel good but when you know you've got a defense making stands like that. Yeah, that loosen up things a little bit, won't it? Maybe you'll play a little bit better the next time you have the ball. Throwing on first down, it's Jackson being chased out left. Now he'll square up and throw deep left sideline. An incomplete crisis averted. Almost picked. Instead, second down. From the 34, they'll come to the line on second and 10. To throw again. Jackson. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 11 yards there, first down. A gain of 11 on the play. First down, New York. They'll run on first down. It's Bush, and this will leave them a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gun. And he's a guy that has some height to him, so when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the Jackson hit, and he lost the football. And it's picked up by the Panthers. And the return will stop him well inside their own 20 at the 15-yard line. And that play just looked a little helter-skelter from the start. That's the risk as a quarterback. Once you take off with that football, you might fumble it, and he did. And he was going for the reward, which is gaining yardage, breaking down a defense. But you're right about the risk. Always lurking out there. Someone always trying to get to the football. Try to... Oh, now Marino here throwing another interception. Picked off Byron Jones. And they will finally bring this run back to an end, but not before he's down inside the five-yard line at the four. First down and goal to go at the four-yard line. First and goal from just inside the five. Again, this is Bush. Able to get a couple here, but won't get across the plane as they stop him right around the one. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Try to punch it across with Bush. And yeah, this is not going to do it as he stopped at the two-yard line. Brought down right at the line of scrimmage. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll take you to Orlando and Jonathan Coachman. Coach will have highlights and analysis of this first half, one that's featured, and he is in. Touchdown, Giants. Taking it in from two yards out as his guys are first out of the scoreboard here this afternoon. But they decided to run it in and got it done on third and goal. A lot of times, that's a passing play. And the kicker this has to come out for the PAT. He can breathe a sigh of relief as well, right? Although I don't know if he's really breathing a sigh of relief. I think he likes to put three points on his ledger. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. First and 10 at their own 27-yard line. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. They'll be looking to match that touchdown from a moment ago. 7-0 is the score as they begin with a first down. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. They look to throw. And to the 43. So down inside the 45 to the 43-yard line. That's where they'll take over. They'll take over first and We haven't even escaped the first half, and he's already thrown four picks. And Brandon, back in the good old days, probably back before you were born, if your starter threw four in the first half, he might throw eight or more for the game because they weren't going to pull him out. But nowadays, the patience level isn't quite there. He's going to have to make some real adjustments or the backup may see some time. And he's going to go down. Back near midfield at the 49. Reggie White on the sack there, showing the explosiveness that led him to the Hall of Fame. It's third down. Third and long. Here's Jackson on third and long. They'll let it go deep for Beckham. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't 
wasn't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. They certainly had good starting field position on that drive, but couldn't do anything with it after three plays. Have to admit that that's a disappointing end to excellent field position. When that drive started, they had six points that they were thinking about. And he gets it away, a directional kick going toward the sideline. And it's out of bounds. Now we'll see what the side judge says. At their own he says out at the eight-yard line. The field position game, such an overlooked facet, Charles, of an NFL game, but this offense, they're going to be pinned back. What an ideal punt. An ideal punt, and it leads to that term complimentary football because them doing that puts their defense in a great spot, doesn't it? Gives them a chance. If they want to be aggressive, try and maybe get a safety out of this whole thing, it puts them in that position. At the 16-yard line. To throw again on second down, Marino. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. That was not a real confident throw right there, and he's just two of seven to start the game. Now he's gonna have to find a groove with a big third down coming up. Let's see if his confidence can increase. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. This time they stay on the ground. Sanders has the first down and much more. He's at the 50. He's at the 30. The 20. Touchdown, Carolina. A big play there as the first half is winding down. And the Panthers are now an extra point away from tying up this game. The Panther offense stay in put. They'll go for two. Zone to extend the lead by two more. Panthers eight, Giants seven. Joey Sly to kick off for Carolina. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kicks away. Pulls it in at the 13. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. The Giants take over first and 10 at their own 24-yard line. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. Likely time for just one final play, and then it'll be off to the locker room to talk about how they can erase this. The Panther rush too strong. They get there and take him down. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. Giants seven. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, getting set for quarter number three here. Joey Sly to kick off for Carolina. The Giants set to get the football, and they trail here as we get back underway in the second half. Pulls it in at the 13, and he won't quite make it to the 25. First and 10 at their own 24-yard line. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. They're down here, but very much in this game. What, what's the tonality of a coach's talk when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission? Typically, what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. Sure, you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's a reason you're down. But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. We're just starting the second half, and we've got the football. Let's go ahead and punch it in, and then we'll take it from there. See how that recipe works. Now this throw caught left side. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. It's worth noting when you talk about Jackson's running ability that Baltimore wide receivers had just over 1,400 receiving yards combined last year. And Charles, that was the fewest yards by a wide receiver group in the NFL since 2011. And partner, I expect that no. And Jackson cannot get away, and he'll go down. Charles Johnson able to run him down for a loss of 12 that time. That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. 
Escaping the pressure right. This one into the hands of Metcalf. He'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. A big gain there after going backwards, and that'll lead to a third down. Jackson looking to throw on third. He can run for it, and he will. Lamar Jackson, such a threat with those legs, able to improvise and get the first. He really looked comfortable there, scanning the situation, analyzing things, feeling the pressure, and then stepping up right through the middle and sprinting for a first down. And a short gain there down to the 37-yard line. I have to think a major focus at the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. On second and nine. Jackson, flush to his right. His throw incomplete. The pro bowler Odell Beckham, the intended receiver. But now it'll be third down. Well, defensively, they haven't let him just sit in the pocket and get comfortable. And that's opposite a lot of game plans in today's NFL. Ordinarily, you're trying to keep the quarterback hemmed in. In this case, they brought the heat, and if he flushes out, they're fine with that, and they force another incomplete. Trying to get it to Beckham, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Deion Sanders. So it was a drive that had real promise here to begin the third quarter, but ultimately derailed by the INT. And that was the position you wanted to be in, coming out to start this third quarter, get a nice drive going, looking for the end zone. Possibly got a little bit too greedy right there. After the interception, here's Marino. And on the catch right side, this is Sanders. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. Ten yards there to start the drive, and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and ten. Sanders here as they run out of the gun. And this defense not giving him anything there. Maybe a yard up to the 36. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. On second and nine, Marino looking here for Smith downfield. This is caught inside the 15. Touchdown, Carolina. Steve Smith. 64 yards, and the Panthers add on to their lead. Joey's fly. And correct me if I'm wrong, that was just a simple fly route, wasn't it? No, there's nothing to correct at all. You've got it down pat. And I just remember as a player, when I'd be in practice sessions, and I'd hear nine from the receivers. That meant fly route, go, uh-oh, look out. That was the nine, and he just kept going all the way into the end zone for the touchdown. Pulls it in at the 13. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. At their own 26-yard line. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. And of course, they'd like to forget the ending, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. He'll let it go deep for Beckham. And it's intercepted. Brian Dawkins, the safety with a pick. And it's a big turnover there on the final play of the quarter. So it'll be a change of possession. 